Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Thank you. All Thank the you. women that sit in the place of mothers. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people didn't birth children, but they've been taking care of them all their life. Hallelujah. She tell you Happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. We're going to stand. The choir is standing. They're ready to sing. They're going to get Oh, I got it on. They're going to give us an opening hymn, a song of their choice. We'll be singing Pass Me Not. It's page 181 in the hymnals if you want to sing along with us. Oh, pass me not, oh, gentle say. I'm going to read the scripture, then the pastor's going to lead us in prayer. Hallelujah. Praise God. And once again, to the mothers that's coming in, happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Joshua 24 and 15, if I'm correct. Amen. Joshua 24 and 15. And it reads, And if it seems even to you to serve the Lord, Choose you this day whom you will serve, 
whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Ammonites in whom land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The last part, let's all let's read the but. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Amen for the reading of the word. Now, Pastor is going to lead us to the throne of grace. Most Holy Father, it's again we come into the house of God. Giving your name the praise. The glory and honor belongs to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to be able to rise up this morning. Father God, we ask you to forgive us, Lord. If we've said or done anything contrary to your will, Lord. Father God, we want to be in your kingdom, in your blessings, Lord. Father God, we thank you for it right now. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to wake up this morning, having eyes to see, ears that we might hear, limbs that we might move about. Lord, somebody would have liked to get up this morning. Father God, we thank you right now. Father God, we ask you right now to awaken our wake sleeping eyes, Lord, our, our heavy loads, Lord, loosen our burdens, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, you know what we need, Lord. Father God, we ask you to touch right now in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing fall free, Lord, today, Lord. Let it anoint the house, Lord. Build us up, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask you right now to let your Holy Spirit guide us this morning. Father God, those that are weak in spirit, Lord, give us strength right now, Jesus. Let it, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe, God, that you are able to do abundantly more than what we can even think or ask, Lord. But, Father God, those that are lying in the nursing homes, Lord, Father God, we ask you to touch them right where they are, Lord. Father God, those, Father God, that is in their homes, Lord, going through, Lord. And, Father God, we thank you right now. Bless the mothers this morning. Father God, wherever they might be, Lord. Mothers indeed, Lord, especially, Lord. Father God, you said, Lord, let it be blessed, Lord. And Father God, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, remember this land, Lord, this government, and all these that are around about us. Father God, draw our spirits together, Lord. Let us love one another, Lord, as you have loved you, Lord. Father God, help us, Lord. Bind up, Lord, those things that would hinder us, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I thank you right now for these people, Lord. Father God, that love one another, Lord. Love you, God, Lord. We thank you for them right now. Bless the teachers, the preachers, the deacons, Lord, the trustees, Lord. Father God, the mothers, Lord, this morning. Father God, let them down, Lord. Father God, there's some mothers that's going on, Lord, but thank you, Lord. Father God, that they might be with you, Lord, and we'll glorify your name, Lord. Father God, we thank you right now, Jesus. Father God, help us, Lord, those that are lost, Lord. Father God, touch their heart, Lord. Don't let them sleep nor slumber nor rest, Lord, until they call on your name, Lord. Let them howl out unto you, Lord. Father God, we thank you right now. Bless those, Father God, that are in, in the hospitals, Lord. Father God, remember them in the, in the circumstances, Lord. Those that are in their homes, Lord, sitting there trying to get better, Lord. And we thank you right now for the things, Lord, that's been out there, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we believe right now you're going to do it for us, Lord. Let a special anointing fall upon our speaker this morning. Father God, as she come forth to bring the word, Lord, we ask you to exalt her much, Lord. Father God, anoint her fresh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we believe, God, that you are doing it. And we continue to give your name the glory, continue to give your name the praise. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to remember that grieving family, Lord. Touch them right now. Hopefully, Father God, that some of them have realized, Lord, that they need you as a Savior. And Father God, call on your name. We ask you right now in the name of Jesus. We count these things to be done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Give God a hand praise. Yes, he loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord at this time. This time, we look unto the hills where come our help. It all come from the Lord. We're going to ask the choir to come back and give us another selection. After the selection, the next speaking voice will be there of our minister of the hour today, Sister Minister Rhody Jackson. Amen. Praise the Lord. She's going to bring the word. Just say, preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Choir. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Emmanuel, we worship you. Happy Mother's Day, ladies. And some of the men that are raising your children, happy Mother's Day to you, too. We give the Lord the praise. Thanking the Lord for my life, health, and strength, for all the great things he's done, is doing, and going to do in my life. I want you all to remember this. Eggs boiling. Eggs boiling. Yesterday, we were in the back. Well, uh, about 8 o'clock, my lights went out at the house, and I was boiling some eggs. Well, when the lights went out, I forgot. <laughs> and so, so I'm out here, what, from 10 to 12, and... All of a sudden, ooh, I wonder if the lights are back on because the eggs would still be cooking. So I just thank God for what he did for me. When I walked in the house, the lights were on, and the, the eggs was boiling. I just had to stand back and say, God, I thank you. I thank you because... He let me know I needed to go home. And uh, that was no little thing to me. I praise God for that today. Let us pray. Lord, before I speak, examine my heart. Make me clean by the power of Jesus' blood. And fill me with the grace of your spirit. Remove from me the impurities of hate, envy, guilt, and pride, so that all that remains in me is you, Lord. Flow through me when I speak and supply words so that they may be worthy of one called by your name. In Jesus' name, amen. And Joshua 24 and 15, the, the latter part of that verse says, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. But the question is, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? In Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose mm -hmm. under the sun. Solomon is the author of Ecclesiastes, and some think that David may have written some of them. But the purpose of that book is to spare future generations the bitterness of learning through their own experiences that life is empty, mm -hmm. it is hollow, yeah. mm -hmm. it's meaningless, mm -hmm. apart from God. Generations before us tried to warn us of things to come, so much so that they wanted us to learn from their mistakes. Amen. Learn from what I've been through. Yeah. And don't go down that road. Yeah. You need to learn from, from what I have been through. The experience is trying to spare us the pitfalls, but we did not hear that warning. Jesus. Parents, friends, and even sometimes our brothers and sisters try to Keep us from falling into a ditch, but we're elbowing. Let me go. I want to get in the ditch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to see for myself. Yeah. And Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 says, Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, they trying to warn us. Mm -hmm. to lay, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. 
They have told us over and over again, but we think we know what's best for us. And then all of a sudden, oops, help, help. I've fallen and I can't get up. It says, help me, help. I can't get up. Well, you can't get up on your own. You cannot get up on your own. It's in Jesus that we can eat, we live, we move, and we have our being. We need Jesus because he's the only way. After we have made a mistake, then we need to call who? Jesus. We need to call Jesus. Call him quick. Jesus. Lord, I, I, I've done wrong. I've fallen. I've done this. I've done the other. Help me. Call on him. Tell him what you want. Tell him what the deal is. But the question is, will you listen? This book is full of wisdom. How to accomplish the things the world in the world and stay out of trouble. Wisdom, how to find and know eternal values. We are to seek happiness in God alone. It's not in a bottle. It's not in a drug. Right now. But it is in Jesus yes, it alone. Is. This book is filled with wisdom, how to accomplish the things and stay out of trouble. Wisdom, how to find and know eternal values. We ought to speak happiness in God, seek happiness in God alone. But the question is, what are we going to do with that wisdom? Sometimes we throw it under the bus. Throw wisdom outside and say, I'm grown. I do what I want. When I want to whom I want to do it to. Sometimes we think we know it all. The Bible says God's in charge. He's, the, he, he's in charge. One generation pass away and another one come. The sun rise, the wind blow, the rivers run into the sea. Yet, it is not full. There is no new thing under the sun. Amen. When the Bible says there is no new thing under the sun, we should believe what the word says. We try this, that. <laughs> and the other, but mama, daddy, grandma, we think they don't know nothing. The witnesses that I have today about the question is, is Nicodemus. He had a question. Mm -hmm. What must I do to be saved? Yeah. You know, we need to ask that question ourselves. Yes. We need to ask, what must I do to be saved? And he was thinking naturally can I enter into my mother's womb again and be born? And we know that's not so. Mm -hmm. John 3, 14 through 21 would let us know that. That was one of the, the witnesses. How about another? The rich young ruler, his question was, what can I do to have eternal life? Jesus. But he refused to put God first, and he went away sorrowful yeah, because yeah. he had great riches. So if you got a whole lot of riches, you think you can buy your way. Yeah. The question is, for the next witness, is the woman at the well. This was Jacob's well, according to John 4, 4 through 42. According to Jesus, if she knew who had asked her for a drink, he would have given her living waters. I remember some years ago when uh, Jep was a little girl. We were at Ebenezer, and we were studying uh, about being filled with that water. Mm -hmm. And she was asking Reverend William uh, some questions about that. And I don't know if it resonated to her, but it did for me, that Jesus is that living water yes. that springs mm -hmm. up on the inside. Yes. He's the one that can protect you. He's the one that can remind you as if in yesterday. He's the one that can remind you, check on your stove. You know, check on your children. Mm -hmm. You know, you could just be riding down the road. He'd say, slow down. You see a, a <coughs> whole parcel of deers running across the road in the front of you. you. You just know that God loves you. That's why I say God loves me. All right. He loves me. Because he is always looking out for me. 
He's a healer. He's a healer. Yeah. He's a healer. He is a healer. He's a healer. He is a healer. He's a healer. You know, I, I was thinking back when Robert w was sick and going to the hospital, you know, often. The whole time that he was real sick, I was never sick. Praise God. I was never sick. God always made a way. I didn't have to ask nobody to take him to dialysis or anything like that because I was, I might not have been hoo hoo really, really well, but I was never not too sick to do what I needed to do as far as his health. He is a healer. God is a healer. He's a protector. Oh, he will protect you. You get ready to go this way. He said, go the other way. And then you realize, that's why he told me to go. He's a friend. You know, you can't, some, you can't find too many friends right now. But God is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's a company keeper. He will keep you if you want to be kept. If you ask God to keep you, Lord, keep me. He will keep you. You can trust him. He won't tell your secrets. He's a problem solver. He's a mind regulator. He will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on Jesus. He will give you what you need. He said to me, don't worry about your finances. When you need it, you'll have it. I remember coming out here all oh, different times when I was going through. And I could leave here, somebody done stuck something in my hand. I'd have just what I need. For whatever bill that I was needed for, God will do that for you. He is a provider. He will give you what you need. He'll supply your need. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. God will supply your need. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He'll give you what you need. What you need. But the problem is, are you going to ask him? Are you going to ask him? Are you going to ask him? But what you need, all we have to do is ask him. Ask him. God loves us, children. You know, we were at a funeral yesterday, and my daughter asked me how was it. I said it was wonderful. I said it was wonderful knowing that somebody went home and at their last Two or three days, they still were giving God the praise. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm not trying to put nobody nowhere. I'm just saying what, what was said about that. But I praise God for his goodness and his mercy. To let you know that God's presence is in the midst of danger. God doesn't promise the world free from danger, but he does promise his help whenever we face danger. We're in danger. We're in danger. If we don't know Jesus, we're in danger. But I have the answer. I have the answer. That Romans 10 and 9 says, if thou shall confess yes. with thy mouth yes. the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart in thy that God has raised him yes. from the dead, yes. thou shalt be saved. Yes. And c confession is made into salvation. God is wanting us to trust him, yes. to live for him. Yes. He said, I, I sent my son for you. I sent my son to die yes. on a cross yes. shamefully. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 
shamefully to die on that cross for Rody. For, for, for me, whenever I say for me, for me, for me. And when I was coming to the altar all the time, all the time, I mean all the time, uh, it, I was looking for something. Looking, just looking. And I, I don't know, I just thought I was going to see heaven open up and I was going to see Jesus and some angels and all of that. But that comes later, you know. But right then, I go to the altar. I don't care how many nights I went to church. Every time they call. But my thing was, I was lack of understanding. I just didn't get it. And I just had to have it. So I kept going until I got what I was looking for. But you can have that, too. God is waiting. He's waiting for us to say yes to his will. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So today, if there is one that don't know Jesus and free pardon of your sins, today is a great day. Your mama would be happy that you came to Jesus on Mother's Day. She would just be so grateful, you know. So we're, we, this is it. Y'all want to stand? Praise the Lord for what he's already done. If nobody wants to accept Jesus this morning, would anybody like to have prayer? Your choice. You choose. Praise the Lord. If you need a blessing, God is giving them out on Mother's Day. If you feel like that you need a touch from God, let us come. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He will. He will bless you. He will give you more than what you think I ask. Prayer warriors, pray as we pray. God can do more than what you even think. He can do better than what you think. Sometimes we ask the question, why? When you do good, it seems like you don't get nowhere. You don't get nowhere with it. But when you do good, God is still looking after you when you do good. God is working on your behalf all the time. He loves you and he cares for you. Sometimes one of the psalmists said, it looked like the righteous is being taken advantage of. Lord, you're letting the wicked run over them. And they're not being blessed, Lord. But Father God, we know God is always answering us. We got to go through things. But he said, if you live godly, you're going to suffer persecution. If you go through trusting God, God will surprise with what you need, not necessarily what you want, but what you need, money don't make it. Going to church don't make it. But Jesus will make it. 
Praise the Lord. We're going to ask Brother Darumple if he would lead us in prayer. Father God, once more we come before the throne, Lord. Thanking you for your grace and your mercy, Father God. Thanking you for this wonderful sermon today, Lord. Thank you for the group that has come forth, Father God, crying out your name, Father God. Father God, some want healing, some want deliverance. Father God, some needs a blessing right now, Father. Lord, I need a blessing right now. Father God, we know that all things come of thee, O oh Lord. So, Father God, we cast our burdens upon you, Lord. Yes, you Father God, because we know that you are a heavy load carrier, Father God. That you can bring us through, carry us through, pick us up. Father God, the doors will be wide open. Father God, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, we praise you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Father God, we ask you to go to the hospital right now, Father God. We ask you to go to room 80. 323 father god and we ask you to touch my sister right now father god i ask that your healing hand laid upon the father god father god while you in that room father god i ask you to go up and down that hallway father god touching and binding every heart that's in there father god letting them know that thou art with them father god father god we ask you father god to go in the rest stone right now lord Father God, let them know that right now on Mother's Day, there's mothers that their children ain't going to come see them. But Father God, I ask that the love of Jesus just stop by and touch them and let them know that you are their mother too. Father God, just have your way. Have your way. Some hearts are burdened on this day, Father God, for their mother is long and gone. But Father God, I want you to know, Father, I want you to reach over there and just touch my mama, Father God. And let her know, Father God, that I'm just as happy for her. That she's in your loving arms, Father God. Father God, bless us and we shall be blessed. Heal us, Lord, and we shall be healed. And you deliver us, Lord, we shall be delivered. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We come to you in the name of Jesus. The name that is above all names. And at that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that you are Lord of Lord and King of King. And right now, Father God, we declare that it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give God a hand praise. Praise the Lord. Praise be to God who gives us the victory in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We look unto the hills where cometh our help. Thank God for the joy of the Lord. It's strength in the joy. Praise the Lord. At this time, we will call for our announcements at this time. While Reverend Rhodey was preaching this morning, she talked about how God will supply our every need. Yeah. I tell you, God works in mysterious ways, and there's wonders that he performs. <laughs> I don't know where to start with this story, Holly, but I met a young man not too long ago in my life, and I'd heard a lot about him. And they weren't very good things. And I was in the process the other day. As some of you know, I've been trying to restore my parents' home. I'm at the beginning phase two, and I was working real hard. He came in, and he bowed down, and he started to work. He worked so hard. Looked like balls of sweat, looked like m size of small marbles was popping out his head. I says, are you all right? No, I sweat like this. So he worked all day long with me, and I never asked him for, to come do anything. He just came up and started to work. And after the day was over, and I was uh, getting ready to shut down for the day, now let me tell you this, I have a vehicle. Now this sounds like it's scattered, but it's all gonna come together. 
I have a vehicle that I need to have some work done on in. I've got an estimate it's going to cost about $400. I had $250 in my pocket. And I needed another $150 to uh, complete what I had to do. I figured, well, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bypass something else in order to get this done right now. And as we were closing out, he walked up beside me, just kind of bumped up beside me like this, and he says, had it, did it hit me with his hand like this, it says, uh, let me help you along your way. I looked at him, and I looked down, and I saw a one and a, and a zero. I thought I was looking at a $10 bill. And uh, I said, no, you don't need to give me money. I need to be paying you for as hard as you work today. No, 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 no. And he took his hand and just rammed it in my pocket. And we kept on talking. I said, well, if you insist. I got home and undressed and started emptying my pockets. I opened my pocket up. <laughs> there was two $100 bills in there. <laughs> you see, <laughs> God comes out of nowhere and fix everything that's going on in our life. He will provide. Sister, you know, I know what you're talking about because God will come through. Like she said, all you got to do is ask him. Ask him and he will provide your every need. I tell you, church, stop leaning on your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path, and he'll pay your toll as you walk down that path. <laughs> God got it all in his hand. All we have to do is trust him for it. If we just trust him. You know, I sat there, and I said, I wasn't going to say anything, but I said, the church needs to hear this. They need to hear how God provides for his people. Don't shut up your bowels of mercy. Give what God gives to you. Share what God has provided with you. And he will keep filling your pockets that you can help somebody else along the way. God is a great, merciful, and kind God that will give you everything that you need. God bless you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God will provide. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all. Uh, if we have any visitors this morning that would like to stand and introduce yourself to the congregation, you may do so. You don't feel like your visitor. You can still stay in and introduce yourself to the congregation. Gary, I see you sitting over there. Yeah. We meeting in a different place this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? All right. Our announcements are Church dues in the amount of $35 are due and must be paid before July the 1st. Uh, we have a credential committee guideline update. All church members, be please be advised that it's time to update the credential committee guidelines. There's a copy of the current guidelines in the foyer. Please take one and review it. If you would like to suggest changes to this document, Please make a list of your suggested changes on this document. And to submit your changes, you must be present at the June missionary meeting so that if you want your changes accepted, they can be, we can discuss, vote. And if you do not attend this meeting, your changes are null and valid. Our senior citizen outing is Saturday, May the 27th, 4 o'clock. The place is Dry Dock in Siler City. I still have the uh, just the last week to sign up if you plan to attend. All members, the dinner will be free. You are free to invite anyone you would like to come. But if they are non-members of TCC, they'll have to pay for their meal. 
Women's Day is June the 4th. All women are asked to pay their annually $100. Our colors for the day will be red, with white with red accessories. And we're going to have two baskets, two gift baskets. And if you would like to enter something into the gift basket, just bring it and drop it off. Uh, next Sunday, 3 o'clock, Church of Many Colors, they'll be celebrating their church anniversary and also the anniversary of pastors Jerome Williams and Cynthia. And the speaker is Red Millet. 3 o'clock, Church of Many Colors. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, the Richmond McLean uh, Family Reunion uh, Committee will be meeting at the home of Donna Borkins. Poplar Springs AME Church, May 21st, cookout. Their new pastor, Reverend Ronlin Wiley, he's the pastor. They're having a cookout. They say, bring a chair. And then morning worship will be at 10 o'clock, I'm assuming, the next day. Annual family reunions. This is with the 45th annual homecoming and family reunion for the Marsh, Taylor, Baldwin, Hooker, Gillum, Palmer, Thompson, Street, and Petties. <laughs> They will be Saturday, July the 21st, 5 o'clock at the community center for the uh, cookout. And then on that Sunday, they'll be here at 9 o'clock for morning worship. Uh, this is a very special time for the family tradition to be held. If you are interested in having a special activity during the Saturday cookout or perhaps you are in interested and sharing a spiritual gift or talent during service on Sunday. If so, your contact person is Pastor Barry Palmer. You need to contact him by June the 10th so that you can be added to the Sunday program. We're asking each family to contribute $50 to cover the expenses. The deadline for all contributions is June the 10th. Make all checks payable, checks or money orders, Payable to the annual homecoming and family reunion. I don't have my birthday sheet for birthdays for the week, but if anybody's having a birthday, want to say happy birthday, enjoy your day. And I would also like to say thank you for all the help yesterday. We had a long day. Uh, the men, they helped in the morning time. And they were very helpful in serving and cleaning. And looking around, Uncle Lewis had popped up, and he was on the sink. We used to say busting suds. Uncle Lewis was busting them suds. <laughs> he washed and dried and said, I don't know where to go, but here they are. He did the, the washing of the dishes. Um, what else? It was somebody else that was in there that's not usually back there. <laughs> Ram Palm cutting up um, pineapples. And we were already having a debate before. Who going to cut this up? I don't know. Ram Palm came. I came out. Ram Palm was in there chopping up pineapples. And Kalisha, she always come through. She walk in, she'll say, Miss Pumpkin, what you need help with? And she was there with me yesterday evening. Um, thank you. I had some moments. I'm still having my moment. I don't see her. 
to my left. But I know yesterday seemed like, I say seemed like that. She would, you know, she quiet. I get loud. <laughs> and she would say, um, girl, you got this. It's going to be all right. Just give it a little time. Take your time. Or uh, sometimes she would tell me, girl, you something else. And we'll bust out <laughs> laughing and stuff. We had so many memories. I'm going to miss her so much. Thing this year is deeply rooted in Christ. Scripture is coming from Colossians 2, 7 and 6, Ephesians 3, 16 and 17, and 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. We are cordially invited to join the North Carolina Conference of Congregational Churches annual women's conference. We encourage all who wish to experience a wonderfully spirit-filled retreat to join us on October 10th and 23rd, 2023. Location, Lamar Resort and Myrtle Beach. And our retreat color theme is a retreat of Jimmy and Christ. Uh, and the cost, just hurry to do those up. So our cost this year is 180 per person for conference members. So that means the member of the conference If you want to be, when you fill out the registration form, and Donna Hill sent you mail it to the uh, to our <coughs> So I have these, and uh, deposits are due on June the 30th, and the balance is due on September the 1st. What's the cost for this? Deposits are $50. Amen. We thank the Lord for the work that he's beginning to open up again that hadn't been open for a while. Amen. But we thank God for it, and we ask in you all to be blessed. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the building. Praise the Lord. One of the other things that I need to bring before the church itself is uh, that we need to, uh, the men's, have decided and the trustees have decided to uh, put gates out of our entrances out here and they're going to get three gates and uh, the three gates that they were going to get would be put out here and they was like 3700 and some dollars. And uh, the funds is available and the church uh, is, uh, we're asking the church now uh, for permission for the church to continue, the men to continue with that process that they're doing. Uh, all in favor, let it be known by raising your hands. All opposers, none opposes. Trustees, y'all got to go ahead. Take care of that business. Okay, we got another, we got some projects that's going on and we're trying to do as much as we can as we go along, God has just blessed us here to be able to do it, and we thank God for you. We do thank God for you women, boy. I tell you, they had that kitchen looking like a palace in there yesterday. <laughs> they, they, uh, we men might have had anything in there, but I'm going to tell you. Now, some men's a little bit different, but you women always make it look good, and I thank God for you in the work that you do. We may not seem to appreciate you spending money and going and do what you do, but y'all make it look good. And I thank God that God put us in that situation where we had somebody to look out for us. We do thank God for you. May God bless you. We appreciate it. 
And we appreciate all the hard work you do because it's a lot of work back there. And us men got back there to enjoy some of it yesterday. Because <laughs> we, we got some good men. The men that do what they can do, we thank God for them. They, they, they take care of business around here as best they can. Best they can. It's good. Everywhere. You can't find it everywhere. But we thank God for you and may God bless you. And you young men, keep coming. We need your help. We need your help too. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. May God bless you. This time we have something to present. Another announcement. Yeah. Do the work. Praise the Lord. Okay. Well, we've been a busy week, busy month, haven't we? But praise the Lord. Next, this coming Saturday? Yeah, okay, the 10th. 20th, that's what it is, 20th. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I think we had some presentations to make. Miss Brenda, come over here. Good morning, everybody, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And uh, we're going to have a short, brief um, Mother's Day uh, the program. We're not going to hold you up because I know uh, Mother's Day is going to be continuing throughout the day. And uh, some of you want to take your mothers out and do some special things with them. Uh, but right now, I'm going to need some uh, help. Uh, uh, Brother Fish, Phil, could you bring uh, the presentations out from back? Okay. And to get us started, we are asking uh, Sister uh, Annie Johns to bring us some Mother's Day song. Jesus cares for me. Jesus cares for me. He 
prove how much he loves me when he hung on Calvary. Whenever I need a friend, he never fails. He steps right in. I know, yes, I know, he cares for me. He cares for me. Jesus cares for me. He proved how much he loves me when he hung on Calvary. Whenever I need a friend, he never fails. He steps right in. I know Yes, I know he cares for me. In my darkest hour, he's always there to shine a light. And when I'm feeling low, Oh, he makes me feel all right. When trouble is pressing me, he steps right in and rescues me. I know, yes, I know, he cares for me. Yes, I know he cares for me. Yes, I know he cares for me whenever. I need a friend, he never fails to step right in. I know, yes, I know, he cares for me. I know, yes, I know. He cares for me. Now we have our presentations, uh, speeches. Karik. You are, you are so wonderful on Mother's Day. I think of you, the unconditional love you give, the sweet and generous things you do. You've made a difference in my life. I love you more than I can say. That's why I give this poem to you. I wish you a happy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Charlie. Kiana? I know I say your name wrong. Kiana? Hanani? I know I say your name wrong.
wonderful mother. God made a wonderful mother, a mother who never grows old. He made her smile of the sunshine, and he molded her heart of pure gold. In her eyes, he placed bright shining stars. In her cheeks, fair roses you see. God made a wonderful mother, and he gave that dear mother to me. And grandmothers, too. Nana, this is for you, so listen. <clears throat> but don't worry, Papa, you'll get your turn soon. <laughs> while we honor all of our mothers with words of love and praise, while we tell about their goodness and their kind and loving ways, we should also think of Grandma. She's a mother, too. You see, for she mothered my dear mother as my mother mothers me. Summer. Thank you, Mom, for everything that you do and for your never-ending love. You are so special and a true blessing from above. So with all my heart, I want to say I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and we thank uh, our little Mother's Day speech is coming from our children first. Now we're going to have uh, just a few mothers that's going to speak on behalf of mothers. Okay, um, Sister Denise Johns. Thank God for mother's love. There is no love like a mother's love, no stronger bond on earth, like the precious bond that comes from God to a mother when she gives birth. A mother's love is forever strong, never changing for all time, and when her children need her the most, a mother's love will shine. God bless these special mothers. God bless them, everyone, for all the tears and heartache and for the special work they've done. When her days on earth are over, a, mother love, a mother's love lives on through many generations with God's blessings on each one. Be thankful for our mothers, for they love with the higher love from the power of God has given and the strength from up above. Amen. Amen. Okay. And now we'll hear from uh, Sister Shanita Jackson. Happy Mother's Day to everyone and to everyone who's not biologically a mother, um, happy Mother's Day to you also because it takes the same effort and love. And I like to say happy Mother's Day to my aunt who raised me, but I refer to her as mom. And um, I just have a few words um, for mothers. And we are mothers. We are not birthing people. And that's if you're on Twitter or you're on uh, any social platform, that's what they're trying to do is say, okay, you know, we don't want to exclude anyone. We want everyone to feel, you know, like they're a mother. They're not. Um, God made it that way. And I don't believe that God would allow it to be any other way, like create any kind of diversion where someone, another gender is able to do what we can do because they can't do what we can do. We are not birthing people. We are mothers. Mother is loving, compassionate, endearing, kind, protective, strong, intuitive, and caring. Mothers are special. Of all the special joys in life, the big ones and the small, a mother's love and tenderness is the greatest of them all. A mother is a friend so dear. Throughout my life, you're always near. A tender smile to guide my way. You are the sun to my cloudy day. I love you, Mom. All right, all right. All right. We thank everybody for their participation and making this uh, program a, a success, Amen. short and sweet, right? Amen. Right now, I'm um, needing uh, Sister Rachel to come up. Just something going to it. Okay. Okay. Let me just swipe it up. Go to the uh -huh. on the on the deep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that's our our pastor stand. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Not yet. Let me just 
You're on mute. Okay, she said not mute. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we asked in uh, uh, Brother Terry McMillan, is he still here? Uh, Brother Fisher is his brother, and this is, they honored their mother. present this to Brother Fisher and to Brother Terry. Uh, in loving memory, Mother Lucille McMillan, and these come from the compliments of Brother Terry McMillan and uh, his brother. Okay, wait, wait for the Lord. Okay. Mom, the wish for you today is for Mother's Day, but the love and thanks uh, for all you've done, for the sacrifice you made and the understanding you've shown. There are, no, there are so many things I could thank you for, Mom, but I'm most grateful for your love. Happy Heavenly Mother's Day. In love and memory of Mother Lucille, love your son, Terry McMillan, and uh, Brother Fisher. Praise the Lord. And it is an honor to me to um, present this to our pastor, Reverend Palmer, in um, place of sister, in honor of Sister Ophelia Palmer. You know, she was a sweet lady. I remember Miss Ophelia very well. You know, I was a young mother, and uh, my son was kind of cutting up a little bit in her <laughs> class. And she came and she told me. And then I was going to get him real good you know and she told me let him go don't don't do that he won't do it anymore you know and she was looked like it was just <laughs> tears in her eyes like she was begging me don't punish him let him go you know so I did just that <laughs> oh let me read this card it says every son needs a mom like you you're always, you've always been there. I didn't know I was going to have to do this. I don't have my glasses. You've always been there to, mm, I can't read it. I ain't got my glasses. You've always been there for what? Where you at? Right there. Okay. To reassure. To reassure and encourage your words have guided me. Your faith in me has built me up. And you love your love for me gets me through. I'm grateful to you. Happy Mother's Day. In love and memory of Mother Ophelia, love you. Love your son. Love your son, Reverend Barry Palmer. Okay. You did good. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We're honoring Mother Josephine Graham, the oldest mother of the church, comments of Brother Terry McMillan. And Miss Josephine, she's sweet to my heart because she's a very special person to me. Hope you, hope you feel very much appreciated, even a little spoiled, for the many ways you love has made a difference. Happy Mother's Day. Love you, your son, Deacon Gary Graham. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Here's a drink. Okay. And uh, before we conclude, we have uh, flowers for the, all, all the rest of our mothers. And uh, Sister Rachel will be uh, passing them out as we go out today. Now we got give space to our pastor. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Miss Josephine Graham, I go out there, she going to whoop Terry in them once. I'm, um, she always tell me, she said, I'm doing fine. 
Uh, mine seem to be doing pretty good when I'm out there, but we do thank God for it. We thank God for Terry and all these beautiful flowers and roses that he's given and leaving. Amen. Praise the Lord at this time. And we thank God for it. And uh, God has blessed us Amen. to have mothers. Yes. I know my mom, well, she was a mother to a whole lot of people. We, and she still got children that's joining the family. Every time we, we call ourselves adopting everybody. But it's all right. If we're in Christ Jesus, we're children of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for you. May God bless you. And we thank God for all mothers at this time. Praise the Lord. This is my mom. She was a mom. Terry always talks about whenever we was Boy Scouts, and she was a we was Cub Scouts, and she was a, uh, a mother, then mother. That's the one. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. May God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Y'all be blessed. Be blessed in the Lord. So let us stand to our feet. With uplifted hands. May the grace of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let it rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forever. Let the redeemed of God say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Good, Good job. Choose this day. What you going to do? What you going to do?